Uh, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank God for another day. We thank God for all his blessings. We thank God for bringing us together and making it possible once more for his children to gather in his name to worship him and to adore him. Today is Sunday. Uh, I will stand in the presence of the church to thank all our brothers and sisters uh, who came um, yesterday and those who were not able to come. Uh, it was a blessing uh, for our sister. God bless all of us for that. Uh, today our lesson is is whatever you sow you will reap whatever you sow you will reap the obey do you know and no one now the obey do you know and no one now better now is the title is about the lady Jezebel Jezebel in the Bible. Jezebel, she sowed corruption and she reaped corruption. Yeah, Patra said, and then, yeah, Baba can't Jezebel who asked Now, Bible, they say, the Odia corruption. And no, and a baby free at the amount. We will thank our brother Bright for reading the scriptures for us. And our Bible reading is uh, Galatians 6, verse 7 to verse 8. That do not be deceived, you cannot mock God, you cannot mock God. For whatever a man will sow, he is going to reap. If you sow to the fresh, you will reap corruption. But if you sow to the spirit, then you will live everlasting life. Now, this is the principle of life. Whatever you sow, you reap. If you sow a good, if you sow, if you go and, and then plant a corn, it will germinate corn. If you plant a good seed, a good seed will come. If you plant a bad seed, a bad seed will come. It's a law. It's a law. If you plant wickedness, you end up in, in, in a wicked way. If you plant goodness, goodness will come to you. If you plant with a good heart, God will bless you. So our lesson this morning, Jezebel, she planted Corruption and she ripped corruption. Galatians, you sow corruption, you reap corruption. Now, in the book of First Kings, in the book of First Kings, you read about the prophet Ahab, the prophet Ahab. He was a king, uh, excuse me. He was a king, K 
Kinaha in the northern kingdom with the capital Samaria and none of the kings were doing good but he was the worst among all of them and, and it was at this time that the prophet Elijah was also preaching the word of God. The Apache and the same. first kings. Sam Renum, not all Hini Bitiasia, your friend Ahab. Nasa or Hini way, not Nitimu Eret, pa. Now, he was a succession. The Edin and Nimino, not Nitimu Eret. But on the Bayano, yes, in the Timuyatin, send the Omo Edin and Nimina. So he was a wicked king, but he became more wicked and more dangerous when he got married to a lady called Jezebel. Now, Jezebel is not an Israelite. He, she is the daughter of the king of Sidon. So she is a Sidonian. Sidon is close to the Mediterranean Sea. She is not an Israelite. But because King Ahab want to forego the, the, the word of the Lord, that don't go outside Israel, and go and marry, and go and marry. He want to forego that. So he went outside of Israel and married. The apostle said, Sa or he knew where I a friend I have no. Nitimu yadi. Na nitimu ebe yadi pa webra. Obe wari obe biya oba nusu timu yadi. No bana ni a friend ni Jezebel no. Na Jezebel ni Israel ni. Na nyaku pa kachre Israel for ni say. Mama unko amama amu for no. Enko wale we. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse three to four. Let's look at what God told the Israelites. He said, Neither shall thou make marriages with them, thy daughter, thou shalt not give up unto his son, nor his daughter, thou shalt not give unto thy son, for he will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Jehovah be kindled against you, and will destroy thee quickly. This is the word of the Lord. I say, I'm a man who for no, I'm a person for, a person so for. In the man who farm on that, and a man who call away, because we call away, I'm a demobile call, a person so no. He said, Don't go and marry the son of the king. He said, Don't go and marry outside. Israel, because they will lead you into the worshiping of Adam. But Ahab will not listen. So he went and married a beautiful woman called Jezebel. Well, Jezebel's father is a king, King Ekbar. King Ekbar is the father's name. He is a king. And she is very fortunate, the life of Jezebel. She is very fortunate to marry a king of Israel, the great Israel at that time. So Jezebel had a, a marriage, but she did some things. She came. She got a marriage. She persecuted 
the prophets of God. She took, she murdered, and then God took her life. Dear Patra said, Jezebel, Onyawarpa, Onyawar, Oba Warrior, Oba Warrior Hini, Na Oba Warrior Hino, Okum, Prophet, Prophet Fono, I ain't a coupon crawful. Or turning the crew actually, Emma, or Koye, Abusum, Koa, or the Jim Crawful, a gap idea. And if you cry, whatever a man sow, he will reap. Jezebel, the story of Jezebel. She sowed corruption and she is going to reap corruption. So let's look at the scenario. The Sidonians, they worship the god Baal. They worship the god Baal. So she introduced Baal. She introduced Baal to Israel by turning the king Ahab mind. Say ye ni nyan kopon krofu ni nyan fi ho. Na ye establish abo som som na ye frane ba no. Eno na ye fa en si ho. En fe ma un krofu en yi na. Se ne be ya on be tu mi. A som ba. In se se on be som nyan kopon. Moma yen tiye di a ba bo no eka. Let's look at what the Bible said about this woman called Jezebel. First King chapter 21, verse 25. He said, But there was no one like Ahab who sold himself to do wickedness in the sight of the Lord because Jezebel his wife stirred him up. I say, Abanidia, yea, yea, sir. Nana Obia knew what to say, Ahab. Nebony, no, not a dorsal. Na Bibia Oyano, Ne Yerano, a pushino, Sir Uncle Ye. The wife Jezebel, he pushed Ahab. To go and do all the wicked things. So let's relate a little bit of this to ourselves. This woman came to marriage, he brought some things into the marriage, and it affected the whole nation. So we ask ourselves, you and I, when we came, if you are a married person, when you got married, what did you bring? What did you bring? Then, and I would defeat a tree by. What the bunny, if you are tree by. When you got married, when you got married, if you brought something bad to the marriage, are you still holding it? Just like Jezebel brought the worship of Ba into her marriage. Remember that she was able to convince the husband. And then they plan to destroy all the prophets of God and establish the worship of Baal in all Israel. So, Obai, to me, I desire to be a Baal. 
Sa afi ye ba be yi nyakopo anipa enyi na afi ho na afi ye di abosom som a ye ba no e di atari israel na This is how a woman can destroy a man Say an oba ebe tumi ase oba ma an oba ma so be tumi ase oba if you say when you get married to somebody, he or she has control over your schedule, has control over your wealth, has control over your movement, has control over your being. So how do we now relate our children who have reached marriage, the age of accountability and marriage, and they are looking for loved ones? I think it's a very difficult thing in this modern world. The empire said, "So see, Oba and Oba may be of Shoba and Oba may worry. What an area simuno? I'm saying, I did a heading, pa. And we, the lost church members, we have to help our young ones, parents." Fathers, mothers, elders, preachers, we have to help our young ones who are putting their head into marriage because their marriage can be positive or it can be negative. It can destroy them and take them to hell. So we have to try as much as possible as senior members and brothers in the lost church to try to help our youth who have reached the age of marriage to find loved ones. We will advise them. We will advise them to try as much as possible to find somebody in the lost church. We would, we would. That will cut down a lot of trouble. So look at the situation of Ahab. He is in total disarray. The woman has taken over the whole Israel. They are killing the prophets. That's the first plan. They reach the prophet. They want to kill the prophet Elijah also. But God protected Elijah from the hands of uh, from the hands of Jezebel and from the hands of uh, Ahab. Now, <laughs> this woman, he, she did a very terrible thing, and that will cost her life. Obey, obey, Osiyekun. Prophets, no. Elijah and so can you. Get us to me, no. Or ye be be a man, you can't be fooled. Pa, she did a terrible thing, and that will cost his life. Here is the case. There was a poor man called Naboth. Naboth has a vineyard where he got his daily living. And Ahab said to Nabo, Nabo, please, I want to buy your vineyard. And Nabo said no. Obama be wa wa ni a friend in Nabo. Na or he ni Ahab, e whom so Obama no na fono aye kesi a fe fe no. Or say mpacho mpesa meto wa fono. And Obama say, "I am a japa die. Me toma wa enye ye. If I sell the vineyard, it's my inheritance. It's it's not possible. So I have left and went. And when King Ahab went home, Jezebel asked Ahab, 
did you, did, were you able to get the vineyard? And Ahab said, no, Nabo did not sell it to me. A brother, or he never had a coffee, you know. Neither just be beside the A fool, no. A person who turn on saka yana. And the other man is you. There be other man is you on turn my mommy. A fool who run there, Mister. Not not both, no. I say on turn mommy. And I came to say, Bema waton ama. So let's look at what Jezebel did. Jezebel told the leaders to make a plan. The plan is to kill Naboth. They are going to create a false witness against him. And according to the law of Israel, if you get two or three people who can create a false witness against you, you will be stoned to death. Plan, they say. Jezebel say, assassin, ye benji. Now, the plan, or ye, they say, obekun na boof. Inti obema, in pain for, I can throw, I de atu na boof so. Na Israel form ran so tresse. Sankrofu mienu, and a mien sa, I can't want some bonny, ah, effet asse, I say, wooa. I say a boy, boy, a queen. So Jezebel was able to do the plan, and Naboth was stoned to death. And then she went to the husband and said, "Go and take the vineyard. Naboth is dead." So King Ahab went and took the vineyard. They are sowing corruption. They are buying, they say, Obano, Prano, Ekoso, Inti, Nabof, Yekuno, Inti, Nafuno, Kin Ahab, Ebe, Fai. So, when Kin Ahab went to the farm, the word of the Lord came to Elijah, the prophet, that go and tell Kinahab and go and tell Jezebel that when Naboth died, that is where Jezebel too will die. Where they stoned him, that is where she will also die. And that her body will not be even seen to bury the body. Because the body will be eaten by animals, dogs. This is the word of the Lord to King Ahab and to Jezebel. Now, God also told Ahab that you are also going to die. Ahab repented and begged God, and God forgave him. But Jezebel has no repentance. So what happened is that Jezebel was thrown out of her house and she fell and she was eaten by dogs and by animals at the same place where they stoned her both to death. The ACN said, Jezebel, Jezebel, Prophet Elijah, some of kind say, Bibia Ukuna Bobuno, a Honda Bobuno, a Ho and a Jezebel, ye nifinifi, a more tofu, a more owe, a ma, a moa, and clamine, a berry and a numb, and in the dope pain.